Shira, now I'm biased. Yes, you are. I can't give an opinion, I'm afraid. Like I, I can't either. I've not seen it. I can't. I, I'm going to get back to it at some point, but I kind of fell off the bandwagon just because I think it's more of an aesthetic thing. Like, I just, I don't know, just, I, had tr- I had trouble getting invested. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I've just, I mainly watched it because other people watch it. Uh-huh. Um, and, it and, it's, and it's like, it's a fun show. Like, I watched... Um, I cruised through like um, the back half of season one with Lawrence, and watching it with him around was fun. But watching it by myself, kind of hit a miss. For me, it's S tier easily, easily S. Yeah, but because yes. you're the you're the, <laughs> but by by the rules, doesn't it have to go at the bottom. I suppose it does if you don't have enough opinion. But like, I mean, for me, it's it's again, it's the same thing that. The reason I got into Ruby was for characters. The reason I got into Shira for characters and the voice direction in it. The voice acting is amazing. I have not seen an animated show with such good voice acting in it before. I think okay. the story is very endearing as well. Its characters are so human, so relatable. Um, yeah, the animation style is what it is, but I, I, it's quirky and I like it. Um, but it's the story and the heart it has. And the humour, it's so funny as well. It, it's, it, it's all the right boxes for me. It's funny to see you react to it. I'll, I'll give it that. Like, Adora's story with Catra and Scorpio is just like, marry me, please. <laughs> I, yeah. Is this not in like the same universe as He-Man and... It is, but it's not related to any of the pre-existing He-Man shows. Oh, okay, fair enough. I, yeah. I know, like, there, there is a He-Man show that's coming out on Netflix. There is? I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. I don't know if that's... Is that going to be connected to she in any way? Oh, no, no. it's totally... Because di- it's the same art style as, like, Castlevania and Blood of Zeus. Oh, my God. Ah, okay. That sounds beautiful. But no, like, the, I just, I can't praise the story enough and the characters, and that's what makes it so endearing to me. <laughs> <laughs> but general. <laughs> to go. Go. Hmm. Haven't seen, haven't really seen it, to be honest. I have. D. It it's... fits for me in those, in that area for me. I think it. Generally, I think it's better. It's, yeah, it's better. But then and I like look Arrow at the shows and above, and I'm like, no. Mm. So, that's a fair point. Yeah, I think it gets it. Unlike its peers, it gets better as it goes along. Each consecutive series, yeah. is better than the previous one. Um, I. I think it's got the best supporting cast of any. Of oh, your yeah, shows. definitely, yeah. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just a more, for me, compelling superhero. I'm not a big Arrow fan. Flash, I've not really been a fan of, but Supergirl I like. So it's a more compelling hero for me. Yeah. Uh, I think it's probably the best of the Arrowverse ones we've got on there, yeah. but I would put it on D with the others. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah I'm happy with that. Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. A tier. <laughs> very good. It's a very good show. It is good. I will go A as well if you're. Ah, I'm happy for A actually. Yeah. Any reason given for A rather than S or anything like that? It's just uh, not better yes. than the shows above it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I think I think it's just because like probably just because Avengers got cut short slightly. Mm. Plus, there was the. This is a. This is, we're getting into nitpick te- territory now, but it annoyed me when they uh, did away with Josh Keaton for Spider Man and replaced him with Drake Bell at the last second. Mm. Um, yes, because he did record for it, but they overdubbed him. Ugh. What's that first one? That Just is Armada. 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 I like Armada a lot. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to. Say Amada 
for a C tier because I was talking with Lawrence about this last night. It's a show that I remember being really good. But if I go back and watch a clip of it now, then I see then I'll then the animations like really poor quality in a lot of places. Oh, you could say that about you could say that about 90 Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. But 90 Spider-Man and we did. Is, is S. And we did, yeah. But, um... When it comes to the Unicorn trilogy, the further along it went, the more I saw of it. So Armada's the one I've seen the least of. And oh, then okay. Cybertron is the one that I've seen the most of. Um, I think... But Armada is generally good quality, from what I remember of it. And I mean, yeah. that's that's... The majority of my Transformers toy collection is Armada. <laughs> like, I, th- I certainly think Armada is the best of the Unicron trilogy. I'll just say, wherever it goes, I think Cybertron should be below it. So what do we reckon? C? Yeah. Yeah. C, probably. Yeah. Cybertron, so does that mean Cybertron's in D? <laughs> I think that's mean because Cybertron. It's all right. It is all right. I really, <laughs> I really haven't seen enough of Cybertron to be honest. I, I kn- the final I'm... fight between Optimus and Galvatron is amazing. Yeah. Um, but like Cybertron um, is nostalgic for me because it was on every morning before school for me. Aww. Um, oh, but okay. but you know, like compared to the next one on the list, <laughs> it's like it's night and day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you want to put it in the same tier? See, I would advocate the same tier personally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now Prime is S tier. Prime right. belongs in the same category as Clone Wars and Rebels. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. It does. Absolutely. To be fair, yes. It does. It's of the same consistent quality as those shows. I, I consider it in in spiritual essence the sister shows of those with how good prime is what would make me laugh i don't know if everyone would agree but if Anna john was on this list it would be in like what ef yeah <laughs> probably i you see i enjoyed Anna john for what it was it, i did put it down there because the general consensus of the universe is that it's shit but you know to me it's the same tier as the rest of those era oh, okay Fair enough. But anyway, yeah, Prime. Um... Prime, like, yeah, I don't think it ever does anything wrong. Like, the, well, maybe the only thing I've got issue with is that we didn't kill off Ball Kid in Season 2, and maybe they should have. Yeah. Um, But apart from that, like, it's almost flawless. Oh, yeah, like, Knockout right. and Starscream is just perfect. Yeah. Like, some of the, mm. the best Transformers cast I've ever yeah. seen. Anything. Oh, and Prime Megatron is like oh, amazing. Oh, yeah, God Prime... tier, yeah, God tier Megatron. Um, no, yeah. RC is my favorite character in it, um, but as we like... know, yeah, and I might say possibly Miko is my favorite of the humans, which is surprising. But in my last rewatch of it, which is maybe a couple years ago now. I found her to be the most compelling human character of the lot. Yes, Jack is probably widely considered the best, but there was just something about Miko's character development in that, which I quite I mean, appreciate. To be fair, it's one of those rare occasions where, overall, the human characters in Prime, generally, overall, they're all okay. They're not... I think- I, well, I would go so far as to say it's got the best human characters. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, sorry, stands, but you know, like I'd say his human cast is probably the best in any Transformers show. Which one was sorry again? Okay, but yeah. it count as a human character, though, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, in essence. But yeah, saying. um, no, I think Prime definitely has the best sort of human cast because they're not. They're not overly egregious because if I know it's not a TV show, but you look at the Transformers movies. <laughs> oh my god, some of them, some of them are horrible. I, okay, oh, yeah. I, I I will always have a soft spot for Agent Simmons though. 
Oh. He absolutely owns it. It takes the best things from films and capitalizes on them. Yeah. 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 Like, um, oh, what's the name of the uh, eight, of the agent in Prime? Agent Fowler. Fowler. Agent Fowler. He, like he 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 is basically uh, the Simmons of Prime. Oh my God, Fowler is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Like whenever he gets shocked and he's like, uh, "Soldier, you need to put on some pants." <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, um, yeah. like obviously Peter Cullen sounds like he actually enjoys being prime. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. Because in the uh, movies, as you go on, you can definitely tell he's like, "I fucking hate this." Um, I don't know what the, the general appearance of, uh, opinions of Predacons Rising, the end movie, is, but I think it's a really satisfying conclusion. I, I mean, do. I think it's good. I would have taken the season three finale as well. If it had ended there, then that would have been great as well. But it just it's one of those shows which ends perfectly. Mm. Yeah, I mean, although... Then it's... it was replaced by the stinking dog shit part that was Robots in Disguise. It's <laughs> like... <laughs> I know, like, they had plans to take Prime further, which kind of makes me a bit bitter about the whole thing, just because the knowledge that it could have have kept going. I would still like to know what that source is, because I don't know anything about any further plans that the show had. Hmm. Well, I wish I, I, wish I could um, tell you where I heard that, but I don't remember. Hmm. But anyway, Prime S tier. Yes. BBC That's Sherlock. Mm. Sherlock. Mm. Sherlock. Never seen it. You're missing out, bro. It's, it's good shit. It is good. Ooh. It's high. It's so It high. is high, but I'm just trying to figure out how high. I'm thinking I, A. I'm happy with A. Mm, definitely. Mm. Yeah, all right, A. Okay. What I mean, does what does what does everyone think of what was the last season it had? Was it three or four? Four. 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 What did everyone think of series four? Yeah, I thought it was okay. I mean, like Sherlock is again one of those things, but I don't notice a quality drop in it. Yeah, because that's what I'd heard from a lot of people. I'd heard that, like, that especially the finale of season four, they were like, mm, mm, mm. I can what? understand that. I think I think overall Sherlock is excellent. It is. Like if I, like, Ma- I liked it from beginning to end. If Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss could put that consistent writing into Doctor Who, that would be amazing. But somehow they divert all of their brain cells to Sherlock and, you know... Did anyone see... Speaking of those two, did anyone watch Dracula? I did, yes. Um, I'm going to at some point, but I haven't gotten around to it. Brad- Bradley, no. did you watch Dracula? No. What, what did you think of Dracula, Lawrence? Uh, yeah, I mean, it had the similar vibes. Yeah, it, I don't think it had anything on Sherlock, but the guy who played Dracula himself, oh, God, he was good. He was great. He embodies. Amazing. He's great as Dracula. But yeah, um, and I think Sherlock does that task of because Sherlock Holmes, the original character, is so sort of grounded in Victorian era. England and those Victorian sensibilities. It it does a good job of modernizing it and bringing it to the twenty first century with like uh, the different like the type the names of the cases and all the and the th- sort of modernizing Sherlock as a concept with like how he solves the crimes and that. But yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. Happy uh, eight here for that. Young Justice. I've not seen it. Nope. I have. Bradley, yes, have you young, seen it? Did I see Young Justice for a second? Mm, no, but it looks familiar. Do you know it? Um, I haven't watched it properly. I've seen. I. It I has know to it, be, but only through, but only through lots of clips. <laughs> it has to. Who, who suggested it to me then? Why is it on it? Anthony. Um, it's gonna have to go in. Not enough opinion. Okay. I'm gonna Winter Soldier. Um. B. B, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I'd argue A or S, but B. Fuck off! Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, not, you, not A or S. How dare you, Anthony? How do you look at yourself in the mirror? Because <laughs> I loved that show. It was not... 
Oh, because he's Captain America. Oh. No, not just because of that. All right, shut up. Because he likes everything. Yeah. Shut up. Look, I that. watched right. a few episodes because I eventually called, but nah, man, be fine. I feel fine. like I really enjoyed the finale. I know not a lot of people did. But, oh, like, um, I really liked the build up to Sam becoming Captain America. I think he really earned it. And mm-hmm. like that whole thing of like um, him not taking the serum and him actually having to train his ass off to get to that point. It was a really nice touch. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm more than happy to go B. You know, uh, I don't. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah, a B, B. Yeah, B, B. Don't think it's spectacular, but for what no. it is, it's high quality. Plus, we got uh, what... Zemo dancing. <laughs> Zemo dancing, yeah. Right, One division. Division. Uh, 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 I think. I think I've got to go B alongside. Well, maybe that's generous. What? It's better than Falcon. But it's not better than anything else on there. On A. I think a lot lot of what WandaVision rides on is the speculation train. Yeah. I haven't rewatched it since knowing everything. There are some things in its finale which I didn't particularly care for much. Yeah. Whereas I think... Well, it's a thing because WandaVision is such a unique... Oh, man. Program in a lot of ways, isn't it? Because, like, Falcon you could compare to a lot of other entries in the MCU as, like, an action thing. Mm. Whereas with WandaVision, it's sort of very conceptually in its own space. Yeah. Yeah, Straight B tier for me. Yeah, I'm I'm really great to be. Okay, okay, yeah. Fine. Okay. Now, Genlock will be something that only me and Dan have seen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Beat it, I think. I think that's kind. I think that's very kind. <laughs> I like when Lawrence says that. <laughs> <laughs> very generous. Very generous. Very generous. Yes, like the Dragon Prince, its main, its major flaw is the frame rate problem. Oh, God. It's worse than uh, Genlock. Are, are Genlock, Ruby, and... Dragon Prince, are they all like rooster teeth? No, Dragon Prince is not Red versus Blue is. Okay. So the, yeah, Ruby and Genlock are rooster teeth productions. Um, I I would not put uh, Genlock in B. Um, person, oh, I think C is generous as well, to be honest. Dun dun dun. Uh, per- personally, for me, it'd be low C, high D. Ugh. It's well, only one season so far. Season two is in production at the minute, but like, oh, it, mm, it's got an interesting twist in it. I'll give it that, but it's like Ruby is better, Dragon Prince is better, Game of Thrones is better, Transformers Animated is better. Um, Genlock might be better than Armada and Cybertron. Agents of Shield is in C, remember. Um. F- f- yeah, f- I mean, I I would probably say like Arrow, Flash, and Supergirl were better than it, so I would say D. No, Mike, for me it's C. Oh, how do we how do we sort this one out? If I say D and he says C, I, mean, I could go C, but it'd be low C for me. I'll con. All right, I'll concede and let you stick it on D just to get the train moving. I- I'm right. willing to concede. I'm willing to put it on C. But it would be low C. Uprising. <laughs> no idea. I've seen it. Yeah, I'm going through it, and, I, and, and I'm really enjoying it. I'd put it on a. Well, maybe think... a, maybe C tier. Ah. Huh. Uh, has anyone has Lawrence seen it? No, no idea. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Um. Uh... If you say S tier, no, I'm not going to put it in S. All right, all right. I mean, um, I, 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 I put it on there out of like I'm, 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 I'm not far into it. C or not, I think D, just because like it's good, but compared to everything above D. Okay, I'll, I'll, I can live with that. Yeah. I right, do. Right, cool. 
I think we will need another reshuffle by the end of this. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Torch Woods. Not seen it properly. Hmm. Can't help. I've not seen all of it. I'm surprised at you, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence, what? I've seen half of it. I've seen seasons three and four in full. Um... But that, you can tell that's when I got into it. I've seen the odd episode of seasons one and two, so I feel like I can talk about it enough. I I really enjoyed. I actually watched through most of it quite recently, to be honest. Cool. And it it being fresher in my memory than maybe some of the other programs. Um, I think it still holds up. Some of the jokes, some of the comedy. Uh, episode two of series one it just relies entirely on uh, people having sex doesn't it yeah but there's even some jokes that owen makes about like came and went (laughs) and yeah and some of the comedy's a bit shit not because it's offensive or anything but just because it's not funny but ironically enough it has chris chibnall's best doctor who writing in it (laughs) yeah he yeah and children on earth is genuinely seen as the high point yeah, it's a well, five-part series. What yeah, you it's think great. Of, what do you think of Miracle Day? Miracle Day, I think it's okay. I don't mm. hold grievances that many people do with it. I mean, it's very Americanized, sure, but you know, it's not the same as the previous seasons by any means. No. But no. still serviceable enough. Owen, as a, as a character, Owen definitely gets better. Mm. Mm. Owen gets so much better. Like once he's um, killed and brought back. Oh yeah, you know, he's the living dead person. Yeah, and that's again a good contrast to Jack because Jack mm. is oh, essentially oh. immortal, as he says. Oh, um, stick it on C tier, if you like. Do you think C? Uh, or is that too harsh? I don't know. Because like, if I compare it to things on C, I think like. A lot of the stuff on C is better. I think C, because it doesn't drop to the lows of Arrow and Flash, to me. Oh, it's... yeah. But I, I'll always rate Ruby, Dragon, Prince, Game of Thrones and all of them above it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to have it in C, yeah. Uh, Sarah Jane Adventures, how much of that have you seen? All of it. All of it? Okay, anybody else? No. No? Okay. Uh, well, it's a different thing, isn't it? Because... This is why this is where you have the two extremes with Doctor Who spin-offs. Because Torchwood is very much more of an adult thing. Definitely for the adults. Whereas Sarah Jane was made for the younger audience. But that isn't to say that it's less good. No, I think it's got some real quality stuff in there. It's got some very good high points, but there are also some lower points. I suppose, but you need to name a few because I can't think off the top of my head which ones. Uh, neither can I, but I just. Like, in terms of like mature themes, like in the last series, Clyde is made homeless. I mean, yeah. that's that's not a kid's thing. No, yeah, not... and then Luke's Luke's whole situation with his like, is he really human? And him finding his humanity and like. And then, of course, all the times that the Doctor comes onto it. Oh, oh, great. Top tier. Uh, the stuff with the trickster is pretty good. Oh, man, the trickster. Like, bring him onto the main show, because, oh, my God. I recall him being pretty chilling. He's an amazing villain. Like, why have they never used him on the... I mean, the closest we got was Turn Left and the Beetle. He was part of the trickster's brigade. He was, yeah. That's the closest we've ever got, but the trickster himself, oh, my God. And Bradley oh, Walsh oh. turns up as a clown, <laughs> doesn't he? He does, yeah, he does. I'm going to go C again. I think it probably deserves that. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. It is. Uh, right, I can't talk about Agent Carter because I've not seen it. It's good, but I've not seen it in a long time. I have seen uh, season one of it, I'm currently on season two. And plus, apparently Marvel have put it out of continuity. Yes. Well, we did about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well, haven't they? Mm. Yes. I don't know. I I've, only, I've, I've only seen one episode of it. Uh, is it any better or worse than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., do we think? It's hard to say, because they're two very different kinds of show. Mm. Um, you can't... 
I'm tempted to say you can't really compare them. Um, mm. Shield is definitely the more the quirkier of the two, mm. and has like a, a wider cast. Um, Peggy very much carries the show. Oh, uh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Um, although, um, like although Jarvis does have his does have his moments, but like everyone in season one, apart from like. No, no, even including Jarvis and Stark to an extent was literally just an obstacle for Peggy to have to overcome because just everyone's such a dick in season one and it doesn't really feel genuine when she earns their respect. I have to put it below Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. if I'm honest, if not on the same tier. I think most people put it below from what I know. To be fair, it has... It had pretty good, like, critical acclaim, but the viewership just dropped. D, even though I quite like it. D. Dan. Um. D. Yeah. Okay. Simpsons. We've always <coughs> bit of Simpsons over our times. Uh, Simpsons <laughs> is diarrhea that won't end. <laughs> <laughs> it starts off feeling really good. That is leaving oh, your oh, body, as, and uh, then it stops feeling as good. as Bradley, I think, is intimating. Older Simpsons is gold. Is better than new Simpsons. Yes, there is. I feel like in well, not like not modern Simpsons, but that uh, new uh, era of Simpsons. There's the occasional outlier that's good. Sure, I agree. But um, yeah, I, I'm. Of the same sentiment. And I can't watch it constantly, but every so often when you watch the Simpsons movie, mm. it's quite funny. But if you watched it more than once, if you watched it like more often, I think like it wouldn't land as well. Mm-hmm. No. But every so often, uh, every once in a while, the Simpsons movie is actually quite funny. But, um, yeah, like, 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 yeah, it has shortcomings, but the Simpsons movie is it, it's pretty, it, it's pretty good. Can't give it above C. Yeah. To be Can fair, I? I've not, I've not watched most, I've not watched any like really recent stuff. But no, me neither. Really, really recent? No, I haven't seen. But I've seen bits and pieces here and there. I've never watched it religiously, but like, if an episode is on telly, yeah, then I might. Yeah. Stop and watch it. You know, back yeah. when I was a kid, six o'clock at night, it would be on Channel Four, yeah. and I'd watch it. But that's when I was a kid, and I don't remember half the stuff I used to watch back then. Only <laughs> 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 of these last two, I know which one I put above the other. Oh, oh. yeah, without a doubt. Oh, of course. Ah, you know what? Then because of that, Simpsons is D. Yeah. Is that generous? Is that generous? I'm happy for it no, to go lower. Because, no, because old Simpsons is good. That's true. Like, those, yeah. tree ho- those tree houses of horror episodes. Oh, Bang yeah, it. The classic ones are good. Gold. Fair enough. So Family Guy. Family which Guy. Better. So uh, Family Guy is better, but I think it's falling into the same thing as Simpsons. Yeah. I used to adore Family Guy, and now it's it's annoying me. Like, I could watch Family Guy disjoint, like, on live television, but it's not something that I could sit down and stream. No. No. It's, I mean, it's the too o- much effort, man. It's too much I mean, effort. I've streamed, since Star got added, I've streamed some of my favourite episodes out of Family Guy, but other sure. than that, yeah. I think mean, it I... probably on the same ranking as The Simpsons, honestly. Mm, yeah. I would give it a I'd give I'd, pu- I'd put it above Simpsons. We can drop yeah. Simpsons one more, but Family Guy is always above Simpsons. I contemplate putting American Dad on it, but I don't know if any of you will have. I've watched American. I've, Dad I've seen a American. Dad. Yeah, yeah, I've I've seen plenty of American Dad. Well, I, think it's, it's on, <laughs> I think it's better than Family Guy, to be honest. Oh, American no. Dad? No. No, you're joking. No, I I think it has the better characters. Oh. In some that's regards, true. okay, that's kind of some. Mm. I don't know if I no, because the the cast around 
the the family itself in Family Guy is also better. You got Quagmire, okay, so you got all these great cast. Yeah. Okay. So the cast around um, the the supporting cast of Family like Guy is stronger, but yeah. the main cast of American Dad is stronger. Mm. Um, plus they Maybe. got. Maybe. All right. Plus, I can see an argument for it. Plus they've got Patrick Stewart on as a main, which you, you can't fault that. Uh, uh, I can't knock that, actually. I can't. But you got Seth MacFarlane for. Well, you got Seth MacFarlane. Is Seth MacFarlane in American yeah. Dad? Yeah, oh, yeah. American Dad is his thing as well. But Family Guy, I prefer Above the Simpsons. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Like, considering the other things in D, and like, I don't think it's higher than some of these other shows. Uh, it is for me, man. I'd watch Family Guy over those any day. Plus, but again, mm. plus, you know, of course, as it is with all of us, personal opinion there. I'm I'm advocating for D personally. Okay, okay. I can live with I D. Think, I think I could live with D, but if we agree that it's better than Simpsons, yeah, yeah. we all, all right, yeah. Well, I think we're going to do a slight reshuffle anyway, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Is that uh, what we're doing now? We can quickly do, yeah. Quickly, yeah. I want Game of Thrones higher. Okay. Game of Thrones should at least be B. Okay, I can live with that. But you know what? Actually, the rest, the rest I look at here, um, I love S tier. I think S tier is perfect. Mm-hmm. A tier, besides not really knowing Merlin super well, the rest, and Avengers, I'm happy with. B, yeah. Yeah. Is that... Yeah. Is that- is that is it up? Um, because I'm happy with the tier list as is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.